CBS 12 News this morning, a new form is needed to get a COVID vaccine and it is causing some confusion. We'll help clear it up for you. Plus, a pharmacy is following President Joe Biden's guidelines and expanding its vaccine eligibility, which group will soon qualify to get a shot in the state. And it's much cooler this morning. Temperatures in the 50s outside. We'll talk about your nice cool day ahead. It's a new day. This is CBS 12 News This Morning. Uh, 6 a.m. everyone, look at this pretty shot right here. West Palm Beach, water's just glistening there under the bridge. Cooler outside too as we're waking up. Uh, Terry, I know you're excited about the, the little chill this morning. So excited. I was asking Lauren, I've been asking you for days now. She Please. asked me all year, when is it going to get cold? <laughs> like it'll be like July 20th. Lord, are we going to get a cold front any time I'm soon? sorry. I know. It just feels so good in Florida when it's a little bit cooler. It really is. I mean, this is why people come south. The humidity is really low, and it's not necessarily frigid outside. We're in the 70s for, uh, you know, the afternoon, so it's still kind of comfortable. I want to quickly start with radar because we do have some rain on it, but I do want to show you that it's not coming this way. This is well off of our coastline, moving parallel to the shore. Onshore, we're dry. We're also much colder than we were 24 hours ago. Everyone dealing with about a 10 to 15 degree temperature drop compared to 6 a.m. on your Wednesday. 57 degrees right now in Vero. We're at 56 in Okeechobee. Indian Towns at 54, 55 in Belle Glade. 60 in Delray and Boca. 57 degrees in Boynton. 58 in West Palm. That northwest wind pulling in some of that cooler air for us. Here's the hour by hour for today in Vero. You're going to stay in the 50s through at least uh, 8, 9 o'clock or so. And then your temperatures from there warming into the 60s and low 70s through the afternoon today. A really nice one out out there. Winds right now between about 5 and 10 miles per hour. Later this afternoon, we might notice them picking up maybe closer to 15 miles per hour, and then it could become very windy for the day Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and into the beginning of next week behind another cold front that's going to move in this weekend. We'll talk more about that still coming up. Right now, though, we'll send it over to Sam for a check on the drive. Thanks, Lauren. And we're looking pretty good as you head out on this Thursday morning. Just one area I want to touch on here in North Palm Beach because we do have a road closure in place for some bright line construction, and that is Richard Road right here at the railroad crossing near alternate A1A. It's going to be closed through next Wednesday until 7 o'clock in the evening. So if you're heading out through the area, you're going to want to take Old Dixie Highway or alternate A1A to North Lake Boulevard as your work around. Otherwise, we're off to a great start this morning. Treasure Coast, Palm Beach County, and you can see that here. Traffic Tracker 12 is keeping an eye on our drive right now. Uh, we are heading west on Blue Heron Boulevard near the Riviera Beach area. And we're not uh, tracking any problems out there for you this morning. Ashley and Terry. All right, Sam, at 602, a new form from the Florida Department of Health is stirring up some confusion here. Doctors have to fill it out to verify someone's extremely vulnerable to COVID-19 and eligible to receive the vaccine. So this form lets people under 65 get the shot, but Governor Ron DeSantis' executive order didn't define what extremely vulnerable means. It only said it's up to a doctor to decide which patients are higher risk. Delray Beach man with diabetes and asthma tells CBS 12 News he already got the green light from his doctor. I got the form. Now I can go to the hospitals and find out which hospitals are actually giving out the uh, vaccine. Yeah. And I feel like, you know, I want to live. <laughs> I don't have much longer and I want to enjoy whatever I have left. Patients can get vaccinated at hospitals, clinics, doctor's offices, or pharmacies, but right now the drive-through mass vaccination sites will not accept people who fall into this category. Let's bring in Terry now. Uh, tell us what this form looks like, Terry, and where do people find it? Yeah, so a lot of confusion around this. Well, the first step is to head over to the Florida Department of Health's website. That's floridahealth.gov. I have it pulled up right for you here on the screen now. You can see on the left side under trending topics here, I'm going to zoom in so you can see a little bit closer. It says COVID-19 determination of extreme vulnerability. So you click right here and you'll see this form open up. So this is the form you will need to take print it out and take it to your doctor it asks for your doctor's information their name license number phone number a lot of info there and then of course your name and details as well even asks for the physician's signature certifying that the patient has a very serious condition and extremely vulnerable to COVID-19 so we of course have the link to this form on our website as well cbs12.com as well as a breakdown of how people 65 and under with those underlying conditions can get their vaccine.
All right, Terry, another vulnerable population fighting to get vaccinated to first responders from 9-11. You see our Madeline Montgomery now standing by live Palm Beach Gardens at the 9-11 Memorial with why firefighters say COVID is especially dangerous for them. Maddie? Many firefighters who battled the blaze and picked up the pieces like the one behind me now are susceptible to lung issues that the coronavirus would only complicate. Attorneys are saying that a lot of these survivors still aren't old enough to qualify to get the vaccine, but it's critical that they get it. A legal team has been appealing to DeSantis and other lawmakers to make exceptions for these American heroes to be able to get vaccinated early. These people now have serious respiratory illnesses and cancers which have destroyed their immune systems. So the government owes a moral obligation to these people to let it be possible for them to get vaccinated. Right now, only active first responders who are 50 or older can get vaccinated. For now, live in Palm Beach Gardens, Madeline Montgomery, CBS 12 News. CBS Pharmacy statewide will be offering vaccines to teachers 50 and under. That's because of the Biden administration's guidelines released this week that are broader for educators than Florida's orders and have no age limit. Right now in our area, there's only one pharmacy in Belle Glade and another in Fort Pierce that's administering the shot. The Indian River County School District will hold a vaccination clinic for employees 50 years and older. It's happening at the Indian River County Fairgrounds in Bureau Beach this coming Sunday. Vaccinations start at 9 in the morning. Those who are eligible will be notified so they can sign up. And tomorrow, eligible groups will have another chance to book an appointment with Publix pharmacies across the state. Registration opens at 7 in the morning. To book an appointment, visit Publix's website. As more people become fully vaccinated, well, of course, they want to know when they can get back to normal, that pre-pandemic life. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is expected to release some new guidelines as soon as today. A lot of people anxious about this. Let's get over to Kara Duffy now. And Kara, what we already know about these CDC recommendations, it's honestly a little surprising. Yeah, Terry, you know, the vaccine has been looked at almost like a golden ticket, a green light to get back to some sort of normalcy around here for many, a chance to hug their loved ones again, get together with friends, maybe even travel, but not so fast. The CDC is set to release those new guidelines for people who are fully vaccinated, and it can be a bit confusing. First, if you are fully vaccinated and exposed to someone with the virus, the agency says you do not have to quarantine. You do not have to do so, but you should still be taking precautions. The CDC also suggests people who are fully vaccinated to only get together with other fully vaccinated people in small gatherings. CDC still doesn't think it's a good idea to mix with the general public. Take a listen. I use the example of a, a daughter coming in from out of town who is doubly vaccinated and a husband and wife doubly vaccinated and maybe a next door neighbor who you know are doubly vaccinated. Small gatherings in the home of people, I think you can clearly feel that the risk, the relative risk is so low that you would not have to wear a mask. So with other fully vaccinated people, no mask needed. But if you do go out, let's say to the grocery store or out to eat, the CDC says wear your mask and still keep your social distance. As far as travel goes, even being fully vaccinated, the CDC encourages people to hold off on booking that next trip, which doesn't feel much different for people who haven't gotten the shot. A bit discouraging this morning. Of course, we are told that the CDC set to give us some more clarity on these new recommendations as early as today. Day. We will uh, be sure to keep our eyes out for that and bring you all of the updates. Terry, Ashley. Thank you, Kara. Palm Beach County Mayor Dave Kerner held his virtual state of the county from Tallahassee yesterday, where the legislative session is just getting started. The mayor praised the county's COVID-19 response, highlighting the decision to use some of that CARES Act money to send masks to more than 600,000 households. He said this was just a great success. But Mayor Kerner added, right now there is no timeline for when the county mask mandate could be lifted. I wouldn't personally do it until Dr. Lonzo or Dr. Fauci says this is the right time to do it. And it's not a lot to ask, uh, you know, our citizens to bear this burden for a little while longer. Mayor Kerner added, while Palm Beach County does have that mask mandate, it really can't be enforced to individuals. But he says he has seen widespread mask usage anyways. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recently said it does oppose states lifting those restrictions and encourages Americans to follow federal guidelines, which include, of course, mask wearing. 
Governor Ron DeSantis will hold a news conference this morning at 930 in Crystal River. You can watch it on CBS12.com or on our free CBS12 News app. And still ahead on CBS12 News this morning, President Joe Biden and Senate Democrats agree to limit who can get those COVID-19 relief checks, a breakdown of those new thresholds. Plus, spring training games well underway. Look at how coronavirus safety protocols are working at the ballparks and with the fans in the stands.